Hey everyone, it's Colleen here with Artwork by Colleen. And I've had some of you um, ask what I do with my canes after and they wanted to see what I was gonna do with this kaleidoscope. So I know that I had made it round initially. However, while that makes for a pretty cane, it's not so easy when you go to cover something cause with round, they don't meet obviously. Anyway, so I turned it into a square as you can see here and I am putting the squares together. I just thought I just took an old glass vase that I had and decided to go ahead and cover it with the, the canes. And I did the first row, which was um, just about the size of the piece that I um, cut off of the, the smaller cane to reduce. And it made it around the first round, but then I realized I probably wasn't gonna have enough. And honestly, I didn't really wanna use the entire cane because I kinda like to keep a little bit of each one that I do. I know, I guess I'm weird, but whatever. Anyway, so then I took another piece of cane. This was actually um, a piece of the leftovers, if you saw when you saw my original pictures. And I'll put a link to how I made this cane in the description. But anyway, I had two end pieces that I had left over that I cut off and I turned them into little squares and then I just reduced them a little more so that I was able to make somewhat of a cane. I mean, I think it's a kind of cute. It's not like amazing. It's not gonna set your world on fire, but um, it looks pretty good together. And here I'm just rolling it out and I'm evening it out so that I can line up one row with the other one. Also, if you noticed, I kind of made the bottom part wider than the top part, and that's because it's a base and it's going from a smaller to uh, a wider mouth area. Well, not mouth, but you know, into the base of the, of the vase. So here I just did the same thing, made it a little bit wider. It's not gonna make it, um, I don't think it's gonna make it too wonky looking, but it worked out pretty well. When I got to this point, I just, I don't know, I wasn't thrilled with it, so I decided it needed a little something. I went ahead and lined it um, with the orange, a strip of the orange that I had used in actually making the cane. And um, I went ahead and actually, I doubled it, which you can't really tell there, but I did because I wanted to make it the same thickness. And then I took a little skinny piece of white and then you can see here, I took a little uh, piece of the teal as well so that I could just give it a break in between the canes. Um, and then kind of straightened it out all the way around the best I could. Next, I put some of the other canes together once again and made this, I took the other piece of large square that I had. And after finishing it, I just took my time and rolled out with my um, acrylic roller. So just a real quick note here. If you don't yet have an acrylic roller, uh, you can always use a glass. That's what I started with. Um, then I decided that the once I rolled it out, the, the lines didn't line up perfectly. So then I tried to make it look like I intended it to be sort of wonky lines, but I still wasn't overjoyed with the end look. So I went ahead and cut little white dots with, um, the thin white and just finished it off. It almost looked like Rick Rack, I think. Anyway, then I took a piece of this cane at the bottom. Just a little note, what I used for this one little bottom piece was, whenever I make a cane, I take all the little leftover scraps and I chop up what's left and then I make it into like a little block. And here, of course, I'm trimming off the edges on the bottom at an angle, as you can see, it makes it sit better that way. And then I just wanted to give you a picture with the inside and the final result. Well, as always, thanks for watching. Like my video if you've enjoyed it and have an awesome blessed day.